one today I'm going to show you how to make a pillowcase dress. These are the patterns that I use. This one is from size 6 months to 4 T, and this one size 3 to 8. So, these are the numbers. 6 months to 4 T, and 3 to 8. So we can see that. The materials that you're going to be needing are a good pair of fabric scissors, um, if you can, one of these boards. I got this one at Walmart for, I think it was $15. And you're going to need pins. You'll need a Sharpie or a fabric pen. And you're going to need two different colors of fabric. You'll also need ribbon. If I can find it. Yes. You'll also need ribbon. This will be for to tie the shoulder straps. As you can see in the picture here. You will need an ironing board and you'll also need an iron. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to measure my fabric. Again, I'll have all the measurements down in the description bar. I'm going to make this one a size 2T. So, first thing you want to do is you want to get the fabric that you're going to use for the main color, for the main upper part up here, this part up here, and we're going to cut it. What I usually like to do is I usually like to iron my fabric first. Just make sure there's no creases or you want it to be very smooth. Okay, this, I'm using one yard of fabric, of cotton, and with this, with one yard of fabric, you can actually make two pillowcase dresses that are under the size three, I think. Three or four, I'm not sure, but you can actually make two, two dresses from one yard of fabric. So... Now we're going to measure and cut our fabric. And for the 2T, you're going to want to cut uh, 15 inches from the neck down, just for this top part here. Remember, just for this top part, it's going to be 15 inches from up here down to here. And then it's going to be 10 inches across. So what I like to do first is I like to cut about an inch off of one end. That way it gives it a straight edge. So I usually will put it up against the line. And then I'll and you may use a fabric pen, but I, I usually use the Sharpie. You don't ever see the the marks they make anyway, so they're always hidden. So you just cut off one inch, and then we're going to measure 15 inches from the top to the bottom. So line it up and make sure this part over here is straight. All the way to 15. Right here. So you're going to line up your ruler. 
make a line. Just like that. Then we're going to measure 10 inches from this side to this side. This is the folded side right here. This is the open side over here. This side is all folded. Forgot to mention that. So we're cutting like this, the long ways. So this side is the part we're going to cut off, all this open stuff. We want to keep the folded side where it's all folded. We don't want to cut here. So we're going to cut over here on the open side. So we're going to turn it this way and we're going to measure 10 inches. And we're going to cut. Here is exactly 10 inches. So let me just cut off, make it even. So it's 10 inches side to side and 15 inches up and down. Because now we're going to cut the, the sleeves. <clears throat> so what, for a 2T, what I usually do is I'll measure five, 6 inches down, no, 5 inches down and 2 inches in. So this is the open end. Make sure to do it on the, op on the open end, right here. I'm going to do it on this side. So I'm going to measure five inches down the long ways and two inches in the short ways. So I'm just going to put a little mark and we're going to cut this way and we're going to curve up that way like this. So it comes out looking like that. Now this, again, I told you is going to make two pillowcase dresses, so you're going to end up having four pieces. And to make one pillowcase dress, you only need two. So I'm going to take the other two and I'm going to put them to the side. <coughs> and now we are going to cut the bottom piece. So you're going to get your other color that you want to use for the bottom going to be down here, on the bottom here. And for this one, of course we need to iron. Iron the fabric first, is what I like to always do. Okay, so of course I want to always cut off it about an inch on the top, that way it's a straight cut. I'm going to draw a line, one inch in, and I'm going to cut it off. I usually do an inch, you can do, do it however you choose to do it. Okay, now for the bottom part, it's going to be 7 inches down and then 10 inches across again. So, I'm going to mark 7 inches down. We're going to cut this. And then, of course, we're going to do 10 inches in, which this is exactly 10 inches. So let me just cut off a little bit on the edge. Oh, and you also need a sewing machine. I'm not sure if I mentioned that at the beginning, but you're also going to need a sewing machine. Okay, so now you have your bottom pieces. 